What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Marvel Legends SDCC exclusive Book of Vashanti. This is Dora Mamu. He is uh, basically the um, the larger figure, the Build-A-Figure in this box set. Really cool box set. Um, I can't wait to actually get the box. I actually purchased this guy um, about a week ago. And uh, it didn't actually take that long for me to get him. I did purchase this guy through a Chinese seller. I know, I know, don't purchase Chinese products. But, um, I, you know, I, I just couldn't help myself. I got a great deal on him, and uh, I definitely didn't spend 70 bucks. I definitely didn't spend 60 bucks. I definitely didn't spend 55 bucks. Um, so I got this guy at a great deal, and uh, yeah. Definitely super happy about it. Um, considering he is a Build-A-Figure, um, I, I didn't actually have a problem spending a little bit extra money um, with my, my normal budget of being around 30 bucks for a figure, no more. But uh, yeah, I think he looks really cool and he's uh, definitely worth to me, the price that I paid, I think he looks really cool. He's got some reused parts from Terex, I believe, on the body, and uh, but he's actually the thing is um, he's actually a little bit taller than Terex. But I'll show you guys later what I'm talking about. Um, there's some, uh, there's a couple things that he's got a pro issue with uh, as far as articulation and range of motion wise, but uh, overall, I think uh, he looks really good um, aesthetically. He looks very nicely done. It's got a little bit of marbleized uh, marbleization on the uh, the shoulders right here, um, but uh, I think that's the only thing I can really nitpick about on this guy. I think he looks really great. A lot of people don't like the flame effect for his head. They feel like they could have been better, but I like it. I think it looks really good, to be honest with you. Um, uh, there's some there's some very unique things about this figure, and actually, I thought that we were going to get this figure in a regular release wave for Doctor Strange, but. I guess not, and that's okay. I'm okay, I'm okay with this being an exclusive. Um, uh, as far as the uh, the chest piece here, there's actually this chest piece can come off. You can just pop the head off, and then the chest piece removes. So if you want to do that, you can. Um, so there's that. And the head just pops it back on. No problems. No problem, man. No problem. Um, he does come with, uh, he came with a couple accessories because uh, he came in the mail. Uh, he does come with the two Ghost Rider heads, which has a, uh, really actually it's the same, since it's the same thing, I'm just going to show you one. They're the exact same sculpt, both of them. So it looks really cool how they got the uh, transitional, the pink into the, the top part is purple. Looks really good, and then he's got the purple translucent skull a little bit. Can see through part of the chin here. I think it looks really good. It's a really nice touch. So he does come with both of those, and they actually have uh, holes. So if you wanted to find a body for him, you could, I guess. <laughs> um, so there's that. Uh, he does come with the eye of Agamotu or Agamoto. I'm just, I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Um, but it's just pretty much just a, uh, a plastic, a thin plastic, hollow plastic. So, and it's got this little uh, piece right here. So if you want to hang it around your neck, you can. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. You get like a lanyard or a string or something. You just go that route. There you go. Good for cosplay, I guess, if you want to go that. Do that. Um, but that's pretty much all he came with. That uh, uh, So uh, mine in the mail came a little bit warped in the leg. Um, so he's been having a kind of a little bit of issue standing, you know, this is him standing, I guess, normal right there. Obviously you have to move him around, but, uh, the leg is, the legs are wanting to move over here to the left. So it's a little, it's, I think it's just mine. It's just the way it was packaged and, you know. Yours probably won't be like that if you get the whole box set. So, um, but for the most part, like I said, he looks really good. Um, I like this. Uh, this chest piece looks really unique to him. Um, I'm actually glad it's kind of a separate chest piece. It looks like a. 
it actually looks like it was, it was you know it was glued on at, at first like kind of like a similar to strife but it's not it's actually nice that it's uh, removable so you have that option um, it's always nice to have that option if you if you want to but I'm gonna leave it on I think it looks good on Another unique thing that they did for this figure is the fact that uh, they they did a really good transition through um, through paint um, and good consistency throughout the paint. Um, the paint detail and the paint is actually the same color and paint detail on the tunic as it is in the uh, the the midsection right there. So that's really nice. Um, the inside is actually a darker red, but I think it's it, it works well and makes helps this uh, centerpiece uh, red pop. So it, it's nice to have some difference um, with reds. And I believe this is, I believe this is painted. Yeah, it's not just a plastic. No, it might just be the plastic red and then this is painted, I don't know. Um, it looks like the inside's painted though. I can't, I don't know. But uh, uh, the other thing that I was trying to point out and I just went off on a tangent there, sorry. <laughs> Um, is the fact that it's, it kind of transitions through a, uh, a thick plastic here, a thick plastic purple here, into like a lighter, kind of almost translucent, into a, like a, almost a, pretty much a full translucent hand. So they did a really good job with the uh, the detail there. Uh, so good uh, detail around the belt with their little, I guess if you want to call them rubies right there, around the belt. Did a good job with that. And uh, he's pretty much the same uh, purple throughout the rest of his body so it looks really good um, I think it looks really cool um, as far as his articulation goes his head does move side to side it can't really look up oh no it does look up of like a hair I guess so there you go there's that and does look down um, it can do a full 360 rotation um, if you're looking for full, like a full range of motion, and you just this thing's getting in your way because it actually does hinder the arm articulation, you could just pop it right off. Easy done. Um, he does have some job turkeys up in here. Um, there's that, and then his arms do go up about that far. Like I said, if you need more range of motion, you can take pop this piece off, but it does hinder. Uh, goes down. Can't do a full 360 rotation with this on, but it can do it with it off. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a single bend at the elbow. Um, he does have a wrist rotation and a wrist hinge. Uh, he does have an ab crunch which goes forward and does go back. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. He does have T-joint hips, they are in there. But it's because of this thick plastic uh, skirt slash tunic, whatever you would like to call it, um, that uh, he can't really get the splits too much. It's about that about that far. Let me just pan out here, sorry. Um, so there you go. Upper thigh swivel. He does have a double jointed knee, a boot swivel, an ankle hinge which goes back but doesn't really want to go forward too far. Maybe about, uh, here's neutral. That's about far forward as you're getting. So could be better there. Um, and he does have the ankle pivot, which is a little bit hindered by this boot cuff. So now you can actually move the boot cuff around. I've been having to do that, kind of like heat up the, the boot cuff and then move it around because it's kind of crooked. And it's kind of just driving me nuts. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, I would say he's a really good pickup. And if you can get him for around 50 bucks, um, then I think he's worth it. Definitely worth even, uh, I would say, if you were to go 60 on him, I would say he's still worth it. He's he, he is a Build-A-Figure, you know. He pretty much is a Build-A-Figure, and he's bigger than you think, which is what I want to get to, the next part I want to get to. Um, let me try and stand him up as straight as possible to show you that this guy is pretty tall. There we go. Okay, here is Terax, and he's got mo a lot of his parts are based from this figure, and as you can see, he towers over Terax. Um, and I'll just put his head straight, there you go. So as you can see, even though they share parts here, this is completely different height. Um, where you see uh, his shoulders are, it's, it's kind of, um, he's much taller than, and it's not just the head, I don't believe, because I'll pop the heads off. Let's just see where they sit. 
So, yeah, as you can see, he's much taller than Terax. So, it's not just the heads. So, there's that. And then we'll have uh, Ultimate Green Goblin. And he's actually taller than Ultimate Green Goblin. So, he's a really good size, I think. For uh, for the most part, uh, for a, for a character that fluctuates in uh, size and weight and and all that, um, I think he's a he's a good size for the most part. I was actually worried that he was going to be too small, but because uh, he looks small in the packaging, but uh, he's got a good size to him. And the last one, we'll just do the movie Ultron, and he's taller than movie Ultron, so I think he's a really good size. No problems there. And uh, overall, I think he's a really good figure. I'm actually really happy with this figure. Um, this was actually the one figure that I was like actually the the most excited for in the pack. So definitely, definitely happy with this figure. And uh, I can't really complain too much about it. Maybe just the uh, the way uh, how how his legs are bowed is was kind of having given me a problem to begin with with how he was standing, but. Um, that's not really Hasbro's fault. Um, it's kind of the plastic. Um, I guess they could use a, a, a stronger plastic in the legs, but uh, just use some hot water and re reshape it, and you're, you're good to go. So, with that being said, would I recommend this figure? Absolutely. I would totally recommend this figure, but guys, don't spend 70 over $70 on him. That's just, that's insanity. To me, at least, but I'm just, I'm just saying I, I wouldn't spend $70 on this guy. So... With that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you guys on the flip side.